My name is Richard Kellett Clark and I'm the uh, founder and current CEO of uh, Rogers EV. Rogers core objective is build uh, an efficient electric propulsion system for the modern age. We're taking all the advantages of an electric motor and using that in redesigning the propulsion system to put the motor around the outside of the rim and to attach the blades at the rim and point them towards a hollow center. The, the halo drive propulsion system is innovative in a number of fronts. So the coil architecture to do with our motor is completely unique and really runs complementary to our fan blade design. And actually the two have a cohesion and synergy that allow us to run a rim driven concept at high power like no other system is able to run currently. So we're looking actually to provide up to an over 25% uh, efficiency gain, but there are a lot of other gains in terms of the acoustic performance and also in terms of the cooling, uh, the architecture of the system, the weight of the system. We're actually wrapping the motor around the outside, so much larger surface area uh, and therefore much easier to cool passively, so uses less energy to cool and can get rid of heat a lot faster than a conventional system. So it's really been a team effort, so bringing together some great minds in aerodynamics from, from the field of F1, which is really known for its innovation. My name is Jason Garcia. Brand. I am the founder and managing director at Save Technology Limited. Uh, we are an in, in engineering consultancy business specializing in fluid dynamics and we have partnered with Roger B to develop for the development of the Halo Drive. In terms of the design of the system, so this is a novel system uh, where the blades are mounted on the rim and we don't have a motor at the center, so um, it's not traditional something you find in the books. And uh, we during the development, we found quite a lot of potential by um, introducing a, a hollow uh, core and, and found we were able to expand the flow and find quite a significant amount of efficiency from, from that. The main challenge was the time scale. So the whole overall project was 18 months uh, for the delivery of a, from, from almost starting from scratch all the way to a technology demonstrator. And obviously the, the aero development itself was very much condensed to a few months only. Um, so we had to build a methodology. And also to bring together partners like Motion Robotics who have developed and worked on new motor architectures. In this project, I've been mostly working on leading the design and development of our motor, which is built into the, the rotor system, and also our drive system, which powers and controls our motor. Most traditional motors on the market are either one of two camps, axial flux or radial flux, where the flux in the coils of those motors would be parallel to the axis of the motor or radial to the axis of the motor. Our design is called circumferential flux motor, which um, our coil tries to encompass the entirety of the, the magnet. So the NATEP funding's really been huge for us uh, in two ways, actually. Firstly, it's actually the credibility, the fact that NATEP as an organization have reviewed the work that we've done to date um, and have allocated funds to us. Um, it, it really works as a validation of our business and, and of our technology. So the money itself has allowed us to build everything you see behind me um, and to bring together such an awesome team that perhaps wouldn't normally work together. As you can see, she's all metal at the minute. So we'd like to move more towards uh, composite structure, which will be more indicative of a final product. So we're actually, in terms of safety, a better option because we're removing number of components, number of moving parts and number of critical failure components from the chain. Makes it means it's easier to maintain, it's easier to inspect. So right now we're doing concept testing for sort of 60 plus PAX aircraft. Um, so we'd be, we'd be looking to uh, see how this technology scales um, for larger craft, um, for regional transportation um, of around that number of people. Um, we also have really interesting uh, synergy with hydrogen technology. So we're talking to a number of partners in hydrogen. Um, fuel cell interacts and works directly with the propulsion system to be able to bring together a complete powertrain that's end to end. So this specific motor is very high speed because we have a lot of poles. We have a lot of magnets in the motor and a lot of coils. So while the rotor itself isn't spinning particularly fast, around 2000 RPM. The speed at which you're switching each coil is very fast because there's a lot of them. Motor design has been relatively straightforward right. in that um, we just have to 
create a, a coil holder that will work on the scale that we're looking for and fit as much copper as we can onto that coil holder. The main challenge is there matching the amount of turns on of copper around your coils to to get the right voltages at the right speeds that we're looking for. The drive system is a much bigger challenge in this scenario because we're looking at 300, 350 volts uh, drive voltage and um, up to about 150 amps of current. So it's a, a serious high power system and traditional MOSFETs are hard to find in that sort of range of voltage and current, especially driving them as well with low noise is very difficult. So what we've gone for in this um, scenario is a silicon carbide MOSFET system with high uh, intelligent gate drivers. So my name's Duncan Shepherd. I'm the technology manager working on the Halo Drive project. What we're talking about was the development of an entire propulsion system, which is an extremely ambitious thing to try and undertake in the course of an ATEP project, which is only 18 months. They've optimised all the components managed to actually do work through all the fabrication issues, um, assembled the system, built a test cell, provided all the instrumentation, assembled the entire complete system and run it, um, and fixed the, the issues that they encountered during that process. It's an absolutely phenomenal achievement.